Hello there, everybody. You're the audience. My name is Supersonic Blur, and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Star Sapphire Nuzlocke. Last time, uh, we explored a little bit more of uh, the area. We went through Rustboro, we went through 1116, and uh, we caught ourselves a fantastic little Eevee. Now, since then, I have done a little bit of grinding, and I think the best way to show you that is just going to be to go into the PC, and we'll actually have a look at them all. So, in terms of the Pokemon, you'll notice that all of them are now level 19, and there's a Pokemon here which you look at and go, hang on, that wasn't win the party last time. That's because you are correct, first of all. Pretty poisoned uh, Bodouet, because poison heal, and that's a great thing. But yes, you can see that uh, Azulotl is now actually Vaporeon. I got the Water Stone from doing the um, the super training uh, against the Blastoise. Did that a bunch of times. Finally got the Water Stone. Bam, put that in there. And now we have this. The reason why I had to do the... Uh, I did this training off screen is because I wanted to get uh, the... Uh, water pulse for the move, which means I needed to level, uh, I needed to evolve uh, the EV first, so I just did that. I assure you it's all uh, legit means and such, so that's not too bad. And as you can see, 90 HP, I've got a lot of uh, HP in there. And uh, yeah, I think these two are going to be fantastic for uh, for the gym. We also have as well uh, Argalaia, who has now got Magical Leaf, which is again going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, Shroomish, like we see here, I already pre-poisoned them. I did pre-poison Taylor as well, but then being the idiot I am, I came back and immediately when I went into the Poker Center, went, oh yeah, I gotta heal up my Pokemon. So lost it instantly. That was painful. It's very painful to do, but I don't think we're necessarily going to use um, Horus in this just because uh, it's, it's not really the best idea to be going ahead and using uh, in, in, in this gym, so that's not too bad. We still have Taylor Jr. Double kick uh, is going to prove very useful. Uh, and I've tried to do a little bit of like, not necessarily calculating, um, but sort of just looking at rough ideas of what does the most damage, especially for Roxanne, but other than that, yeah, we're not looking too bad and things. So now, uh, we're gonna go, oh, no, I don't want to continue any operations. I think this is definitely gonna be the, uh, the, the team that we are gonna run with, uh, in terms of, oops, in terms of, uh, in the bag, uh, let's see, I do, like I said, I've also given myself the, uh, the Chesto Berries, but Auron Berries, we're gonna give everyone at least an Auron Berry. Uh, no, I don't want to use it. I want to give, uh, I want to give Neritus one, and I want to give, um, uh, the Vaporeon one. So that's that. Uh, we don't need I've also got false swipes. Uh, I went and grabbed that from, uh, in the, uh, in the, the, po uh, the Pokemark, so I've got that. Um, and yeah, we've got a few more items and bits and pieces coming through. Uh, the reason everyone's level 19 as well is I don't want to accidentally overlevel. I'd rather be able to grind up an edge to level 21 rather than just be like, oh yeah, we'll just get to level 20 here. Uh, so the other thing I've got to do is make sure XP share is turned off. I don't want that on during the gym, uh, but I will use it during the gym battle uh, because that's going to be fantastic. So it's time to take on the gym. Hello, Roxanne. Hello. You must be a new challenger. I'm Roxanne, the Rustboro City Gym Pokemon the Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may apply a battle that I've learned at the Pokemon Trainer's School. If you defeat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll present you with a gym badge as proof of your strength as a trainer. Please take up the challenge. I look forward to seeing you as a challenger. Until then, farewell. Okay, so... The first gym we can take on. I'm going to be taking on all the trainers in here because we could ignore them, but where's the fun in that? So the first trainer here we have, if I just grab my little, uh, my little thing, we have Youngster Tommy with a Larvitar, level 16, with a Lanast Berry, Sandvale, Sandstorm, Chip Away, uh, Sandvale for its ability, Sandstorm, Chip Away, Stealth Rocks, and Stomp. Uh, nope, that's Youngster Tommy. This is Youngster Josh, who has a Geodude. Sturdy. Tackle, defense, curl, and roll out with an Apricot Berry. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and double kick this, because this should mean that we don't have too much of an issue. It's one shot. And there's the second, so we ignore the Sturdy, which is fantastic. So we get that. 
Jude, Jude fainted, 250 XP, which is pretty good. And now Rog and Roller. Rock and Roller, level 14 sturdy with tackle, rock blast, harden, and sand attack. Our objective is the exact same. Double kick. Should push us through that. Oh, and a crit! This is very nice. So that's fine. So there we go. Anything with sturdy, I want the double kick for because that's going to be really, really useful. So just looking down the list as well. Uh, we'll see what else we've got there. We've just got, yeah. Like, uh, like it sees here, we've got Kranidos, uh, coming up next, uh, for the, uh, uh, for one of the others, but yeah, Alavatar and Anorith are the next two, uh, and so for these two, I want to go ahead and swap out, uh, Taylor Jr. My reason for wanting to swap out, I don't want to accidentally overlevel, so I'd want to keep everyone at roughly the same. So, youngster Tommy, there we are. This is the one with the level 16 Lavatar. Sand Veil, Sandstorm, Chip Away, Stealth Rocks, and Stomp. So we should be more than fine against this. And then Anorith, Battle Armor, Fury Cutter, Smackdown, Water Gun, and Harden. Fury Cutter, a little bit scary, but we should be okay. So we're just going to go ahead and Mega Drain here. And it's a one shot, which is fantastic. We're pre poisoned, so we even get a heal off at the end. Anorith comes out, so we are expecting Fury Cutter, that much we are certainly doing, so I think what we're going to do is just going to Mega Drain and see if this kills or not, because if it does, then that's great. Ooh, does about half, that's okay, it's using Fury Cutter, we expected that, but it doesn't do too much. Poison Heal, means we actually only take seven in that entire thing, which is fantastic. We'll Mega Drain again, and there we go, easy money. Easy. Easy. All right. Not bad. Youngster Tommy is defeated. Next up is Schoolgirl Georgia, which has the Kranidos, level 16, Mold Breaker, Smackdown, Rock Tomb, Rock Smash, and Pursuit with a Wide Lens. Uh, for this, we can still keep in Boduet. Uh, it, it's totally fine. I am, however. I want to show off our uh, Azulothal. Uh, because, you know, we, we, we got them, and uh, if I look at the super training stuff, which we can uh, open up, you can see that, you know, HP and defense, I've really racked that through uh, on that. So we've got two fairly good, um, uh, or fairly solid defenses. I might retrain a little bit on Neritus for a little bit more special defense, but with both these two having a bit of bulk to them, that's not too bad uh, in the slightest. So, we want to go ahead and take on our school trainer here. And there we go. So yeah, like I said, a level 16 Kranidos, which we're okay with. And we should be pretty fine. The main thing that we're here for is Roxanne. But yeah, Mold Breaker, we don't really care about Mold Breaker. We want Water Pulse. And this should one shot. That 90 HP and the high physical defense is gonna be very useful for us. Okay. And like that, we have defeated these three, which is fantastic. So now, we have Roxanne to take on, but first, we do need to edge up to get to the levels. So we've got, what we're essentially doing when I say edging, is because of the way that the rule setup works, I cannot over level the gym leader. So I can put all of my Pokemon at level 20. However, if during the gym leader battle they evolve, that's okay as long as it's in the gym leader fight. Because we're playing with whiteout equals wipeout, it doesn't matter whether or not they over level. If they faint and they lose it, the, the run's over anyway. So edging is essentially what I want to do is I want to put all of these Pokemon as close to level 21 uh, as possible. So that when we turn the XP share on and we go in, we take out the first Pokemon and bam, everyone's level 21. This gives us that little bit of an edge coming in to the gym. So we've got to have a look here and we've got to go and put all of these up to level 20 and then edge it through. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly do that and then we can take on Roxanne. Okay, now also as well, at level 20, we have access to Flame Charge. Ember, mm, we don't necessarily need Flame Charge. It raises our speed stat, which will be rather useful. Unfortunately, though, not the most useful of things for this gym, given the whole rock situation. But not the worst either. So, 
Okay, like I said, we're now level 20 with Taylor Jr., which means we now get to start edging things up a little bit better. Oh, well, we've hit level 20, and that means that Aglaia is also going to be evolving, which is pretty awesome for us, because now we just have a uh, slightly better time. It's slightly better stats, and I'll take them at this point. Still fairly frail, which is a bit of an awkwardness, but... Aglaia has evolved into Curlia, which is very good for us. This means now that what we have is just a little bit better on stats. Like I said, stats are pretty good. We have a look at them. You can see, oh, look at them stats. They are certainly stats. If we have a, just a quick peek. Yeah, 50 special attack. Woo! That's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. But still, now we got to edge just a little bit. We don't necessarily need too much. We want, like, maybe, like, within 50. But we still got to get there. And we got to get there for everyone else. But it's a slow and steady grind. Okay, that took a fairly long time. But we have all of our Pokemon up to level 20 and edged reasonably close within about 100 or so of actually leveling up, which I'm totally fine with. Uh, I did have to go and re-poison Bodoward, because obviously I forgot I needed to get all the PP back, which is unfortunate on so many levels. Still, though, we now have uh, pretty much everyone exactly where I want them, and I think I just want to check on something, right? So you've got 47, and you have 34. Four. Okay, so it is definitely going to be best to probably lead with um, Azulotl. Uh, so let's go ahead and sort that out. I'm just trying to think, like, because I know roughly what the plan is for each of um, Roxanne's Pokemon. And I'm just trying to think if there's anything in particular I want to change. Do I want anything uh, else? Item. Uh, we could... Uh, it's, it's again, it's whether or not I want Auron. Uh, I don't need Petcha. Uh, it might be worth going for a Cherry uh, in, in some instances. So I think I'll put a Cherry on. Uh, on. Uh, oh no, I need to use. Uh, I need to give you the Cherry. So yeah, uh, let's give you the Cherry. We'll see how it works out, Narites, in that situation. But we've got pretty much. Our, uh, our sort of four Pokemon, this, um, these top four here are all sort of the main ones, and these two are quote-unquote backups uh, for the situation, both of which can hit uh, fairly nicely. The main reason I want to lead with uh, with this is because it just feels right. It might be worth going in with uh, Boduwed, just because um, there, there's a lot of sustain on Boduwed, and they're our best quote-unquote tank that we have right now, but... Again, it's a difficult call to make here, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, see what happens, as it were. So, oh boy, we've uh, we've quite the challenge coming up ahead here, but it's nothing that we haven't be, uh, fought worse with. But here we are, Roxanne. <sighs> just as I expected. I knew you and your Pokemon would be able to get this far. I didn't turn on XP share. I didn't turn on XP share. Now, would you kindly demonstrate how you battle with your Pokemon? That's really annoying. I forgot to turn on XP share. The one thing I needed to do for this whole thing was turn on XP share. That's very unfortunate. So they sent out Leader Roxanne sends out a Shuckle, as you can see. This is her team, a Shuckle, Carbink, Aron, Propopass, Lilip, and Amura. Not in that order, as you can see, but they lead with the Shuckle level 17, contrary for its ability, Wrap, Sticky Web, Infestation, and Stealth Rock with a Grip Claw. This son of a bastard is there purely to set up the entire time. That's all it's there for. So I just want to uh, double check, so I pulled up Maryland Team Builder to check. So for you, Water Pulse it is, and our objective is simple. Water Pulse as many of these as possible. That does about half, which isn't too bad. Set up a sticky web. Now, I'd like to try and uh, 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 pull out the um, uh, full restores and stuff before 
We lose anyone, so that's pretty great. Used wrap. We're okay with wrap. We don't care. We know that grip claw means that we can't leave, but that's okay. So we take like two damage. Ooh, not too bad. Yeah, not too bad at all. Now we just water pulse this because you're going to use a potion. That's 20 HP. We don't really care. That's pretty much what we were doing anyway. So yeah, it's like 18-ish to 20. So that's pretty good. Super effective. We'll take the wrap damage because we kind of don't have a choice in the matter. Uh, this should be another, maybe another, uh, oh no, the Withdrawer of Shuckle. Now, that I have not seen. Uh, Lily, oh, I should have thought about that. Water Pulse, Storm Drain. Oh, I'm so stupid. That's really not great. So, Lily comes out. With Lily out, Lily, Storm Drain, Ingrain Acid, Ancient Power, and Mega Drain. We need to switch, uh, quite badly. Um, because we're expecting Mega Drain here. Uh, so hopefully we can go into uh, Hopefully it's this if it's ancient power. We are not too happy about that But we'll do it. We'll deal with it as we need to deal with it caught in the sticky web This is the only problem with the, the sticky web. So there's the mega drain doesn't do anywhere near enough damage uh, So Lily here uh, Should be a double kick here. We I might actually go for the flame charge to up my speed and this is this sounds weird But the flame charge is gonna be really useful Regetting that speed back Kicking in a little bit of damage. So they use Ancient Power. Do not get Omni Boost is all we care about. No Omni Boost. No Omni Boost. That's fine. Uh, can we live crit? Maybe. Maybe. We'll go with Double Kick here. Because we should be faster. There it is. That's fantastic. Critical hit as well. Lilip goes down. That is the first one of her Pokemon gone. Fantastic. Lilip has fainted. Should probably be Carbink coming in now. I imagine, because Dazzling Gleam. But yes, that Carbink, level 17. Sturdy, Dazzling Gleam, reflect ancient power light screen with a light clay. There it is. There's the Carbink. We know that Dazzling Gleam is the move that they want to use. Uh, I've got to quickly just check on this. So that Carbink, yep, level 17. I want to check with... Uh, Combuskin, uh, real quick, just what it is, so that's level 21, uh, max attack IVs, uh, yeah, and, uh, I want to check double kick, so double kick will not Oko, and Dazzling Gleam will do 25% of my health, uh, at most, uh, uh, so I am definitely gonna have to switch switch here uh, and I'm gonna go to Boduet who I think is gonna be probably the best look here for a while with the Thunder Wave as well uh, or the Stun Spore essentially I think for that Thunder Wave is gonna be pretty great for us the speed falls we don't care it's gonna set up reflects which is a little bit annoying um, but we're okay with this I'm just gonna leech seed set up a leech seed like and I'm basically just gonna sit here and wait this one out because uh, we know that we really want to get rid of that, uh, light screen and things. It's going to take a while, but hopefully, with the poison heal and that, we should be fine. Uh, oh, now our next move, we can't use anything in the bag. Next move is just a stun spore, and stun spore as, uh, it should be fine. Dazzling Gleam won't do a huge amount to us, so we're fine. We get stun spore off. That's what we wanted. Fantastic. Paralyzed and unable to move. We'll be seated. We'll be fine. So we'll do a little bit of chip damage. We'll heal up. And we should be pretty much full health from this. Yeah, because poison heal. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So now we just stun sport. Sit here. Wait that out a little bit. And then we're fine. Kelvin's paralyzed. Dazzling gleam. We know we're fine. I'm just waiting out the lights. Uh, or, or, or going to try and wait out the light screen a bit. If possible. And that'll be fine. Because, yeah, this thing can't hit us. <laughs> it can't kill us. Bodo was just going to sit there like, yeah, what you, what you doing, bud? What you doing? You ain't got nothing on me. You ain't got nothing. So, yeah, hopefully. Stun Spore's already paralyzed. That's fine. Dazzling Gleam is the only move it can really use. And that's okay. So, Light Clay makes it last eight turns, I want to say. So, that's fine. Uh, basically, all I want to do is I might Mega Drain now. Uh, just because... No, I think we can go one more turn. We can go one more turn here. Because we don't have to worry about it. I believe there's more than one potion available. So, uh, so we have a little bit to worry about. But 
Comics health's just getting chipped away at. Look at this. Every turn we're healing back so much. Poison here was such a strong ability. And the best part is, is even if we didn't get that, as long as we didn't get the hidden ability, we were guaranteed it because of uh, because of the pickup and the ability caps, which is fantastic. So stun spores already paralyzing, dazzling gleam we don't care about. If reflects wear off, then we know they're going to use reflect or they're going to heal. Um, Cobbing's health's been seeded, which is fantastic. Poison heal. All right, so the screen should wear off this turn, I want to say. So we'll Mega Drain, uh, and this should kill. Whoa, it did not. Okay. Well, in which case then, we, uh, well, we're still fine, because, you know, not too much to worry about. There we go. Seeded HP, and you're gone. It's fine, so we should heal this all back up. And Poison Heal. Give me back that 9 HP. Ooh, only 7. That's fantastic. Now, Bulldoids level 21, which is great. Taylor Jr. gets a bunch of XP. Reflect War off. Amora is up next. So, with Amora coming in, this Pokemon here has... Quick check on that. So, Refrigerate for its ability. Icy Wind, Rock Tomb, Round, Ancient Power, with a Never Melt Ice. Obviously, we're not staying in for this. However, I don't really feel like we can go into Taylor Jr. at this point, so we're gonna have to instead hope that one of the other two can go for that. Neretez should be okay as well. We're expecting it to be um, the uh, the the um, either round or icy wind. Either way, I don't want to deal with that. So let's see how this goes. It's not gonna do much damage. Yeah, next to nothing. Oof, and the speed falling as well is not fun. So we are going to, first of all, we're going to double check on what Amora is weak to. Uh, weak to rock, so we could use that hidden power rock. Fighting it is four times weak to, two times weak to water, weak to grass as well. Uh, I think it's probably going to have to be a look at the water there, because water pulse is just the best bet we've got. Ancient power we're fine with. We should take this without too much problem. No Omni Boost, please. Thank you. Right. Now, this isn't going to do too much damage, but that's pretty good. Ancient power again. Please, no Omni Boost. Even if we get the Omni Boost, I don't think we're too bad off here. Okay. And that's a Mora down. Very good. Very good. So, it's just the Shuckle uh, that we've really got to worry about now for a little bit. Uh, oh, not the Shuckle, sorry. It's just the, um, yeah, Probo Pass that I want to try and worry about. Bodu Ed. Probo Pass is up next. Magnet Bomb, Thunder Wave, Rock Tomb, and Spark. With the Spark, we know what that's likely going to be. So, it is likely going to be a uh, Spark that comes in. So, this Probo Pass is going to be a bit of a pain to try and deal with. What we really need here is, uh, let's see. So... It is very resistant to a lot of stuff. Ground, fighting, and water are the only things that it is weak to. But obviously, Spark kind of throws a bit of a problem in that. So, the other thing we've got, we can kind of go with um, uh, Bodoed here. I think Bodoed's probably a good look. We can't get Thunder Waved. Spark doesn't really hit too hard either. Uh, we can just Leech Seed this and Mega Drain, constantly keeping that going. We're fine. Speed fell, used spark. There's the spark like we thought. Not very effective, mate. Even on the crit, it's not going to do that much to us. Bodoed's fantastic there. We're going to set up a leech seed if we can. Probably pass, use magnet bomb, steel. It's not going to do too much to us, but it is going to hit hard. So we set up a leech seed. And now we basically just mega drain and keep on living. Because we're getting back about 9 HP a turn. You know, uh, with, uh, with everything. That's without mega draining. So yeah, we get 7 from uh, Leech Seed, and another 7, so 14 health every turn, plus Mega Drain. So they are faster, which is fine. Magnet Bomb does a good chunk, but Mega Drain gets us a good chunk as well. So that's going to give us back 4, so we're getting 18 health back a turn. And I think that pretty much puts us at even, I think. Ooh, yeah, actually, it might it actually puts us a better than that. So we're gain we're net gaining two health every time, provided you know min max rolls and no crits here. So yeah, 
This is fine for us. This is absolutely fine for us. And as well, we've got min-max rolls on what we heal. So yeah, we're in a really good spot. This is this is so silly. Poison heal is so silly. Ho <laughs> ho! Poison heal. Look at this. Look at that. And now we just mega drain. Once more, magnet bomb again. We're okay with that. Because magnet bomb's like the only thing they can do. It's a low roll, so we're actually going to net gain some more health on this. Mwah! Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Easy. 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 Very nice. Now it does go ahead and go and use its staff berry. So it's, it's drastically increased its special attack, which does suck for us just a touch. You know? It, 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 it's gonna hurt for us, but uh, we're okay. This may be a heal. There it is. There's the super potion I knew she had more than one which does mean that it's full HP again but Now we just mega drain it Just mega drain. We're full health. It's had its energy drained. So I'm gonna use this turn to go ahead and uh, See here's the thing if I use magnet if uh, if it's using magnet bomb I wonder then if it's using magnet bomb it has up it increased its special so uh, I I've just got a probe pass uh, it's uh, it's level 19 and magnet bomb and we will go ahead and say that it's plus uh, plus two on special attack um, against combuskin that's doing 9 to 12 percent of my health if we say with 33 health as well It's doing up to eight which means it can't kill me So what I'm gonna do here is stun spore this a reason I'm stun sporing this is because I Want to see yeah, we're still fine with that. I want to stun spore it so that it's slower than us Because that's gonna really help us. That's really gonna help. So you are paralyzed uh, which means that you have half, so 13, which means we should definitely be faster. We also broke the sturdy just in case we wouldn't do enough damage. <sighs> okay, yeah. Pokemon, Taylor Jr. As long as uh, this doesn't crit, we'll be fine. Oh, I want to get Taylor Jr. in here because double kick does 98 to 140 uh, percent of its health. Pro pass use Rock Tomb! Jesus. And now my speed's fallen, and I'm not sure if we are faster than it. So, uh, 252 speed. Uh, we are minus one. Uh, you are paralyzed. Status paralyzed. So, yeah, that thing has six. We've also been hit with Sticky Web. Um, which has dropped our speed as well. So we're actually uh, Let me just double check what I speed this thing is So yeah, it's 42 speed right now <sighs> Okay, so 42 speed if we come in on sticky web we lose speed we drop it again We should still be faster than it. We should certainly still be faster than it Yes, we're faster fantastic Double kick takes it down. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. And we're actually going to hit level 22 as well. Foo! Foo boy! Foo boy! Alright, once the mother move Worry Seed. No, we're not learning Worry Seed. I don't want any Pokemon to know Insomnia. Give up on learning Worry Seed. Yes. But I did not learn Worry Seed. Neritez gets a bunch of XP. Aaron is out next. And Aaron here at level uh, 16 knows the moves. So he's got a sturdy Metal Claw, Rock Tomb, Automized Metal Burst with a Berry Juice. I'm pretty damn sure that at level 22 with this versus level 16, yeah, we're killing this thing in one shot. No worries. Even with the berry juice it's got, it doesn't matter. It endured the hit. It uses a berry juice. So it's got actually 66 HP. Like, we don't care. Down and out. And 
I believe the only Pokemon left is Shuckle at this point. So what we got, yes, there it is. There's the Shuckle. And we're just going to Flame Charge. Use the Super Potion. That's fine. I just want to up my speed more than anything. Don't care about that. Flame Charge. Should be neutral. All right. And we up our speed. And we're just going to double kick. Should finish it off. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, I should have checked. I should have checked. Shuckle used Infestation. That's not going to do much damage to us because it's a Bug-type move. We've been infected, but that's okay. That is going to hurt a bit. But now, okay, so Shuckle. Shuckle, blank set, level 17. Uh, we've got Double Kick. We've got uh, Flame Charge, which does not too bad. Uh, Peck which doesn't do much, and scratch. So yeah, we should still be hitting it with, uh, with fl uh, flame charge here. No, double kick, sorry, excuse me, because double kick just does more. That's one. That's a crit. That's a crit when it matters. Good job, Taylor Jr. Bit sloppy, I will not lie. Bit sloppy for uh, for leader Roxanne. Wasn't particularly happy with that. Forgot to turn on XP share. Kind of took uh, a bit of a bit of a beating. I'm not gonna lie, but I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers receive this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept this official Pokemon League stone badge. Oh, Roxanne has been beaten. Not bad at all. The stone badge enables Pokemon to use the HM cut outside of battle. All Pokemon up to level 20, even those you get in trades, will also obey you. And please take this with you. Rock Tomb. Don't know how I'm going to use this one, but it's not too bad of a move. The move Rock Tomb not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, but it also lowers the target speed. If you use this, uh, if you use a TM, it instantly teaches that move to a Pokemon. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That was not too bad a fight all in all. Boduwed was ridiculous. Absolute MVP in this engagement. Our two water types proved invaluable as well, letting us get some switches in. And Taylor Jr. coming in and dishing out the damage was absolutely fantastic as well. So, with that, I do believe we have ourselves access to a higher level cap, which is fantastic. It's not a super high level cap, but it's a level cap nonetheless. Out of the way, move it! Oh, it's him again. Uh... Wait, please! Don't take those parts, we, we need those! Uh... Oh boy, oh boy. Still, we'll have to go and see what it is that those two are off to uh, next time. For now, we're going to heal up everyone because, my goodness, my gracious, my me, I am terrified at how that happened. It, you know, that, that went, uh, that went, you know, it, it certainly went, uh, it went, but still, we, like I said, we have our new level cap, I believe level 24 is our new level cap. So, like I said, not particularly high uh, or not particularly uh, uh, difficult. And we're fairly close on a couple of these already. But that's all for next time. For now, we're going to go ahead and end things off here. If you have enjoyed this video, then do be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more and to share this stuff so people know that it exists. My name has been Supersonic Blur. You guys have been a fantastic audience, and I shall see you all next time.